Hello there, I'm another Magento Dev. In this video, we're gonna look at something which I always find the resources out there on, on exactly how to do this is wanting, found wanting. They're not very good, they're a bit crap. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video today on how to patch Magento's core. This applies to also patching Magento modules, um, other modules, fair pack modules. You can patch, there's a, there's, a, there's a specific way of patching and being able to run those patches on your deployment in Composer as well. So we're gonna cover both of those sort of things. And I'm just gonna show you the, the way I do it, the method I do it. Um, this is just, as I say, this is like the way I do it. There's no real, docs out there that I can find consensus on what the right way to do it is but this works for me so it might work for you right then so what I've done here is I have intentionally broken one of Magento's core files and now as we know I can't just go in and fix this file uh, to get my Magento installation working again Let's just make it a bit bigger uh, because it's a deployed file when you deploy to a server Composer install runs and it builds out vendor. So we can't make changes in there. We can't. We can if we're testing something locally, we can mess about, but you're gonna lose those changes eventually. As soon as you run Composer install, you're gonna lose those changes. So if for whatever reason, uh, there's a bug in Magento's core from a new release, which happens quite often, this applies also to uh, patches that you can get off, because Mag Magento release patches that you're able to, um, that you're able to use. Uh, I did what a video recently on a brain tree, um, issue which is a magento core module which i got a patch for uh from from github online uh, but this this video is how to create your how to create a patch how to do it yourself a diy version so not something that you're going to get off the shelf or off off magento so right i've broken this file and the resulting error is i cannot deploy static content right annoying right so it's giving me the error i know i know that i've, I've broke it but basically you find out what file it is that's bust and Obviously, you've got to know how to fix this. So you've got to be skilled enough in PHP or whatever to, or you know, obviously you don't. It's not only PHP files you'd be patching. You can patch all sorts of files. But take for an example, this is a PHP file, um, <coughs> and there's a problem with it. I've often found that when I do the majority of my patching, um, it is in modules and stuff so it isn't in Magento's core but I'm going to show the Magento core version and also actually when I've moved PHP versions and sometimes Magento can't keep up so say for example I think the last one I wrote was because of a, a problem with PHP 8.1 um, 7.4 7 like a conflict in Magento's uh, core and I wrote a little fix for it um, which eventually I think Magento released a patch for anyway but anyway anyway let without further ado how do we fix this? How do we go about doing it? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a patches folder in my install. So I'm gonna create a folder in here and I'm gonna call it, no, I only create a folder. That's how you find a folder, daft lad. Um, I'm gonna create a folder in here, um, new folder, patches. patches right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of this file and I'm gonna just place it in here um, right so I'm gonna call it the same thing file name resolver.php and this file is gonna be the one that includes my fix right so this is the one where I'm gonna fix the issue so but first of all I'm gonna test my fix actually works. And that's when, on your local version, you can actually just fix it. And all I did was I removed that line. So I'm fixing it. So actually is the broke version, actually is the broke version. Hang on, I'm in the right one. Yep, so there's the broke version and, there, and there's the fixed version. And now if I run and try and deploy static content, Sorry if you can hear that in the background. For some reason, I've picked the exact time when a road sweeper is going to go by um, and uh, get in the background of my video. So that's now working. So I know my fix is good, right? My fix is valid. It's a dead simple fix, but it's good for demonstration purposes. 
okay? But now, for example, I don't know I've broke this, but say if I was to run Composer, my fix would disappear, right? So I would be without this fix, and I'd have my problem back, which is it won't work. So I would have fix, fix, fix it, right? So, so it don't come back, well, this is out. So in here, I'm gonna have my fixed version. Um, and I'm just gonna put my fix back in. Okay, so I know that this is my fix. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a diff file, um, like a patch file. Well, it's not a patch file because there is such thing as a dot patch, pa pa dot patch file. Um, but this is gonna be a diff file. So I'm in the root of my Magento directory here and I'm gonna type diff, and here's a command I prepared earlier. Um, I'm gonna type diff, and I'm just gonna zoom in on this for a bit, a bit more. So make sure you guys can see it because it's right at the bottom there. But diff minus u, the path to the file where I have the problem, backslash, the path to the file where I have the solution, and then the uh, path where I'm gonna be dumping the diff file. So we're gonna be creating this, right? Um, and I just called it something, I think this is the last one the last time I maybe patched the magento um but we'll just call it fix uh, resolver um fix resolver call and we'll create that file so when I run that in my patches directory I have now got a diff file you stupid bastard Every time I'd right. Sorry, I've made a mistake. Oh, oh. I bet you forgot the tin opener, didn't you? I despair. I mean, I really do. I give you one simple task, one little obligation, and what do you do? But shows you the importance of naming your files correctly. File name resolver um, is the name of the file. Frustrating, aren't I? Right, so now I can create it. There we go. It's done it. And so, a couple of things to notice here, right? It's only generated the bit of the file what's changed, right? And and the little bit sort of around it, which is which is good. And then, but but notice, I did copy the full file in there. So I want just copying my fixing. I was copying the full file and that's because when I run this it is gonna basically take a, delete my delete the current file and add in the new file sort of on the fly when it runs on composer and also it's gonna do that when it if we run it um, just in the in the file system because there's two ways you can run this so you can create your um, uh, patch like like I've done there um, and the so here we go. So one way you can run it is you can run a patch, and you could say like p1, um, and then you could find the directory again. See if I've got it yet. Yeah, so I've run, I've done something like this before. So you're going into the directory um, resolver. So fix resolver call diff is what I've called it, and then you can run it. And then if I come into, yeah, go, I just had to refresh it, but you can see it's run my patch. This is the file that was that I had the problem with, and it's run my patch for me, and that's all well and good. But again, that that's like my local fix, if you like. That's testing the patch patch works that's testing that this works right which is worth doing so do that first patch it manually first sort of semi manually so first first stage is you fix it then you create the patch file then you test your patch file because the next step is when you want this to go to your staging server which is the next step you need to run this in composer because you don't want to be going on your staging server and running the patch right uh, because again, next time you deploy, and if you've got zero downtime deploy set up or build set up, then it's going to be clearing out that vendor folder and running Composer anyway, and the problem's going to keep coming back. So it's worth testing it locally with patch, and then um, yeah, and then you know, 
putting it in Composer. So that's the next bit that I'm going to show you. So we're just going to break it again. Um, so I'm just going to break this. I've still got my uh, patch file in here. So it's still, we know this works, so we're happy with that. Um, and then I'm just going to close that. I'm going to close this one. So now what do we do in Composer? <coughs> well, I've showed you this before in another video uh, about the brain tree one I mentioned, but we're going to add in a fix here. So I'm just going to change this um, and make sure that's what I called it because that catches me out, doesn't it, a lot. Um, fix, resolve a call, fix, resolve a call. So what are we doing here, right? Um, this was, as I say, a different one. But what 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 we need to do is we need to put a little bit of information, really, really, what you about what you're fixing. So I'm going to say I'm fixing this variable in file name resolver resolve, right? Um, and that's where to look in my file system. And yeah, what's going to happen is when I run composer, it's going to deploy this change right so each time it's going to deploy this change and then I can keep this in my composer until I'm happy that say Magento fixed it or or what have you it can just stay there because what might happen is on the next upgrade to Magento I'll get a conflict when I'm upgrading it'll say this this file is kind of now basically it alerts me to it that that this this is now fixed so then I can take it out but for now I've got to keep that in one other piece of the puzzle in order to imp deploy these Fit patches. You've got to have a composer package, and if I pronounce this right, you got to have a composer package installed. C Wegans composer patches. You've got to have that installed on your Magento. So the way you install that is through Composer, and you do composer um, install uh, composer require C Wegans composer patches. You run that. And then composer install and it it basically installs it for you see weekends so do that before you put in before you put in your fix right so you don't want to be doing it all at the same time because we want to test that that works obviously when these changes hit the server it's going to be doing it all at the same time so to be safe you might want to do two deploys you might want to do a deploy where you're putting in see weekends and then a deploy for your patches just to be safe but I, it rarely do I get issues with that sometimes I, I, I do though right and so my fix is in there my file is broken still and now what I'm gonna do is locally I'm gonna sort of uh, imitate what's gonna happen when I deploy and what's gonna happen when I deploy is RMRF um, the vendor folder so I'm gonna clear out the vendor folder right and then my this is gonna so I don't know I've deleted that now but this is gonna um, and, and the real one will come back but it's gonna show you basically the um, the process so now if I run composer install not there <laughs> now if I run composer install it's gonna install all my packages And it's also going to run my patch. So just let that run through. Nearly there. So basically that's the process and now if I come back to this file well, this is back but and, and that's what I'd expect to happen which is great but I'm gonna do something a bit different now because I made this go wrong so Magento will put the right one back in anyway so but that's the process that I've shown you so now if I run composer um, minus V install it's gonna give me some output from my patch there 
see this here and it's actually saying it cannot apply patches and this is something I wanted to touch on so there's something up with the way I do this probably and you might have a better way of doing this put it in the comments actually if you know why I get this problem but that's the way I've always done it and I get a problem with the file path so and I ain't done this step yet so what I would do is I would check my patch file and usually I just make my file path relative to see this is the thing right when I'm running it in composer I get this problem so I don't know this is it I don't know strictly if this is the right or wrong way of doing it but it works so when I'm running it in composer it needs to be relative to this which is Magento framework because if you remember that was what was in there like that's vendor Magento framework right when I'm running it on my as a, as a patch in my in my um, console it worked didn't it? it it found the file path but when I'm running it in composer it can't find the file right so it doesn't apply the patch so now if I just run that again okay it's telling me I've, I've patched it and it's worked so that was um, because I changed my path in the path in the in my diff file to being a relative URL of the of the file. So top tip for you there, right at the end of the video. For those of you that have stayed to the end, uh, thank you very much, and you're welcome. And as you can see, it's patched everything there, and and um, saying it could not apply patch, which is uh, well, it's bullshit, isn't it? Because it applied it. So there you go. Enjoy. And as I say, you can use that in many different circumstances. And it is a good way of getting your fixes to Magento core files and plugging core files onto your server. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll like and subscribe this content if you will. And I will see you in the next one.